There was another upset in Division One men's basketball last night, but it was very slight. I mean, number four lost to number five. Who was number four? UConn. Number five, Kansas. The final score, 69 to 60, 65. And you, Kansas was up 38 to 31 at half. Yes, UConn cut it down the deficit a little bit. They scored 34 points, but they allowed 31. And UConn was 7-0 prior to this game. And they now have their first loss since the the Big East semifinals in, in, the, in their conference tournament before winning six straight games to win a national title last year. UConn didn't shoot the ball bad. I mean, 41.1% from the field on 56 attempts, 39.3% from the three-point line on 28 attempts. Here's the kicker. 53.3% from the free throw line on 15 attempts. Make five of those, you win the game. Of course, make more shots, you win the game. Get more stops, you win the game. 32 rebounds, 10 of those offensive. Nine assists, that's not a great of a number. Three steals, not as good as. Four blocks, that's a good number normally, but when you go to Kansas, you'll know why later. Eight turnovers, that's pretty good. I mean, six um, and you got 18 fouls and you only have seven points off the bench and two players that combined for 41 points and yes they did have two other players with six or more points that combined for 14 eight and six but you gotta have more balance than that you gotta have more scoring than that and kansas only had six bench points so they you can't bench out slightly outplayed them however Kansas had three double digit scores that combined for okay that's 36 54 points and they did have two other players with six or more points that combined for 12 six and six they did shoot too good in this game Kansas did 50 percent on 46 attempts 64.3 percent from the three-point line on 14 attempts they didn't take a ton but they they made on them being 70 percent from the free throw line on 20 attempts they could have put this game away a little bit better down the stretch when you look at the play-by-play -play. because UConn they try they were down two late in the game they tried for a three and they missed it and then Kansas made their free throws to, to put the game away and they did cover that spread which was two and a half I believe and we all know how hard it is going undefeated. It's really, really hard. Or yeah, definitely I know. Last time I checked, but it's not showing it now on the spread. But yeah, it. I believe it was two and a half in favor of Kansas. Now, what are these two teams gonna have going forward? UConn does have number, currently number 17, North Carolina next, which we have to wait and see on the rankings and all this, and UConn should just drop slightly, and Kansas should move up. Should. It's a matter how much. And UConn has Arkansas Pine Bluff. And the JMVV Classic, by the way, is in New York, New York, so... Plus the home field advantage, home court advantage. Then they got Carly number 11, Gonzaga. And the Connell Tire Seattle tip off, which that's in Seattle, as we all, based on the name alone, that's in Seattle. Essentially like a rope game because, you know, Gonzaga's cl somewhat close to that. I mean, then they got at Seton Hall, that's 5 and 2. And to name one more game is like St. John's, that's so 5 and 2, and they have a first year coach. And you got St. John's at home, luckily, and not on the road. Now, what does Kansas have going next? And they need this win. And yes, they beat Kentucky, I get it. But they didn't look so good last game. I mean, when you look at the opponent. And they lost to number four Marquette by double digits. And this was a really good win here. They have Kansas City. They have Missouri. That's six and two. At Indiana, they're six and one. You got Yale. That's five and three. And to name one more game, Wichita State, 
and they're currently 7-1. Want to wait and see what happens to both these teams. So anyways, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe button. See you guys later on the road. 600 subscribers, of course, ultimate goal is 1,000 more. So many money out this course. Liking video, comment video really helps YouTube algorithm. So more people can see it. Sharing the video doesn't help as well. So more people can watch. And if you're watching and not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It's free. Hit the notification bell as well.